We came here because of the war. We came in 2018. We ran here because people are fighting, killing people. That's why we, are, we came here. Across Uganda, there are 13 refugee settlements. And in those 13 refugee settlements, there are 1.7 million refugees. And those refugees are not going down in number. They are only going up because the troubles around us in the countries that we neighbour uh, are only increasing. So as you can imagine, being right at the centre of all of that means that refugees are coming from Sudan, through South Sudan and into Northern Uganda, and they're crossing the border from the DRC into Uganda. All of that means that Uganda has the highest population of refugees in all of Africa, and some of the very largest refugee settlements in the whole world. But from here, there's no way to get money because things are not easy. That's why I'm out of school. If I went to school, I have my degree. Just I want to help my mom and the rest of the people. That is my dream. We support refugees to access justice and then we have uh, child protection, prevention and response. Key. When you look at the influx that normally happens, we have so many children and women, actually who account for 80% of the refugees that uh, keep on coming in. That. And then we have uh, the gender-based violence, prevention and response. We ensure we create awareness in the communities to curb the vast of violence against women, children, men and boys. So it's one of the thematic areas and focus that uh, LWF has. So LWF ensures that there is restoration of these communities by planting, ensuring that there is planting of trees or growing of trees. Well, of course with support from UNHCR. We also have community-based protection. Of course, when you're doing community-based protection, it's like the whole settlement is in your head. You have a very big population of uh, persons with specific needs that you take care of. Of course, older persons, persons with disabilities, and others being among that. I tell you, I check the mall. We just need to get a guard. You need to be in care of them. Point down, car, order, and keep double. We're going to tell you, they do it. Guami, here Marie Dial, she could do. Kid of Ren, Dormidi, Mitatin, Kigigi, and Kigil, you. Ren Carada, your daughter. I double and met on that, do a gama, a cherry gallery. Tell me, love with all and a fellow. And yet, when my shop are all a man, can you walk up? Jarocolo, Jarocolo, Moya, you walk up, you cop, you can't chew yard with you, will walk you and a country coat, a bunch of gormony. Of course, at the time when we had a lot of funding, we were drilling boreholes and, and ensuring that at least communities have water within their households and within the general community. Now, refugees in Uganda are treated well. They are given a plot of land on which they can grow crops and look after themselves. But because there are so many areas in the whole world where there is fighting and there is trouble, if we think of the Ukraine and we think of Gaza, um, the amount of money and the amount of resource that is left over to look after the refugees in, in Uganda is going down and down and down. And yet the need is only going up and up and up. LWF is a partner with MAF because uh, some of our colleagues coming from Kampala are using MAF. But on transport generally, uh, from Moyo to Kampala, from the settlement you have to board, uh, a small car come to, to town to board a bus. When you board a bus in the morning, you board at 6.20, you reach the ferry, it takes you to reach the other side of Omi, that is Ajumani side. But it takes you close to 12 hours to reach Kampala on road. But of course that comes with a lot of challenges also. So here at Bath Uganda, we serve the people who serve the refugees and we fly them regularly to the refugee settlement in both the west of the country and the north of the country. 
I don't want to stay in, in this camp. Yeah, I have to go far. Like uh, India, where, where, even uh, Dubai, where, yeah. Anyway, Australia, yeah. Because from here, life is not easy. Yeah.